Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the linguistic channel. So guys, as I promised you that next, in the next video we are going to learn that how do we change direct into indirect speech and what tense is changed in what tense. So let's have a look here. We need to understand the two things that are done over here that whenever you change direct into indirect speech, the verb tense usually changes, not always. The rule is when we report, we need to go back a tense. Suppose if I'm talking to you, I'm telling you someone's word, so I'll have to go back in the tense. Means if the person had said something in print simple, I'll let you know in past simple, of course. So here are some examples you see. Present simple tense, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous. So these tenses are changed into these tenses. You see, uh, present simple will be converted into past simple, present continuous in past continuous, present perfect in past perfect, present perfect continuous into past perfect continuous. Let's say the dialect speech is I eat pizza. Who said Lisa said? So, or you can say Lisa said I eat pizza. So, when you're going to convert it into indirect speech, it's going to be Lisa said. No quotation marks needed, as we know it. So, Lisa said she ate pizza. It's going to be really simple. I'm eating pizza. Lisa said. And when it comes to uh, an indirect speech, so it's going to be she said that she was eating pizza. Or you can also say Lisa said that she was eating pizza. Present perfect tense, I have eaten pizza, Lisa said, and in past perfect it's going to be, Lisa said that she had eaten pizza. As I previously told you that that is optional over here, if you either want to use Lisa said that or you directly want to say Lisa said, both are same. And the last one is, present perfect continuous, I have been eating pizza, Lisa said, so it's going to be, of course, Lisa said that or Lisa said she had been eating pizza. Now we'll go for the conversion of past simple tense and the other tenses that we are left with. So, in, in direct speech, if we have past simple tense, so it's going to be a past perfect tense. If we have a past continuous tense, it's going to be past perfect continuous tense. But when we have past perfect and past perfect continuous in direct speeches, they have no changes. Means Past perfect tense will go for the same tense, it's going to be past perfect, and past perfect continuous tense will go for the same tense, which is going to be past perfect continuous. Examples, I've taken the same sentences for your better understanding. So, past simple tense direct speech is, I ate pizza, Lisa said. So, what is going to be in indirect speech? Lisa said she had eaten pizza. It's going to be a past perfect tense. She had eaten pizza. When it comes to a past continuous tense, I was eating pizza. So it's going to be Lisa said she had been eating pizza. When it comes to past perfect tense, it's going to remain the same. But as we know in indirect speeches, we do not have quotation marks. So it's going to be Lisa said she had eaten pizza. No change. The same thing will go over here in past perfect tense. If it's a direct speech, it's going to be, I have been eating pizza, Lisa said. And in past perfect continuous, again, the same thing. So Lisa said she had been eating pizza without any quotation marks. Now we'll go for the model verbs. So what happens when we form, uh, like when we convert direct into indirect with model verbs? Suppose if we have the model verb will, or can, or may, or show, or must. Right, so uh, what, what they're converted in. So will would be would, can, could, may, might, shall, should, and must, had to. These are the changes that these models are going to have when you have them in direct speeches and convert them into indirect speeches. Examples. So the example for will is, we will play football, he said. Right, so what's going to be when it's going to be converted into indirect speech? It's going to be he said, he would play football. Can they say I can play piano well? Now remember, in my first video about direct and dialect, I told you that if the statement is still true, you can use the same tense. So if he still can play piano really well, you can say Tony said that he can play piano well, or you can say Tony said he could play piano well. It depends on the situation. May it may rain, the weatherman said. So uh, when it comes to an indirect. It might rain, the madam said. Shall, 
We shall go, Alex said. So Alex said, we should go. Remember, must Sidra said, I must study. So what's going to be when you're going to have it indirect? Sidra said, she had to study. Simple. All right, so now we'll talk about with the morals, we do not give any changes. Let's say, these are the models, we don't have any changes and we convert them into indirect speeches from direct speeches. Let's say, I could cook, right? He said, so he said, he could cook. Could, would, should, might. Remember, they don't have any changes when they are converted into indirect speeches, right? So Mr. James would like to talk to you, Harry said. So Harry said, Miss James would like to talk to me and there are no more changes in it. So we are done with the model verb and the tenses. But here we go with pronoun change. Remember, the pronoun also changes. Why? Because the reporting person, whoever is reporting is actually not the same person who said the words. Let me give you some examples. Direct speech. I am sad, Mary said. Now, Mary said that I am sad. Now, if I'm going to tell someone else that Mary said to me that she was sad. So, what I've changed, I've changed the pronoun I into she because. Because Mary is a female, right? So, I will definitely be changed into she. It's just something which is uh, like common sense. Why? Because, you know, I will be changed uh, into she because Mary is a subject and Mary is a girl. Moving on to the next example, you have to be there, he said. So, if we convert it into indirect speech, it's going to be, he said that I have to be there. Of course, if you talk to me and you ask me that you must be there. So, if I'm going to tell somebody, I'm going to tell that you said that I had to be there. Since we know we use must into uh, had to and when we convert uh, have to will be uh, had to. So, it goes this way. And then I say here, I saw your sister, she said. So, she said that she had seen my sister since you know the rule is that past simple tense is going to be converted into past perfect tense. So, here is the difference you see, I is there changed into he, right, or she, you changed into I. I changed into she and your changed into my because she said she watched or she uh, you know so my sister it's going to be this way. Now we have successfully learned the conversion of direct into indirect speech and right now we have an exercise for you. Uh, it is you have to change the given direct speeches into indirect speech. Here are one, two, three four or five sentences that you have to convert them into indirect speeches and write them down in the comments below. It's just an easy task. You need to follow the same rules we have studied. So, I don't think I need to read this. You can just have a look at them yourself and they are clear enough to be seen. So, thank you so much for watching my video. Allah Hafiz. Stay safe. Stay learning. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon.